The Kalamukha were a medieval Shaivite sect of the Deccan Plateau who were among the first professional monks of India. Their earliest monasteries were built in Mysore. Topic: <inaudible> Origin and etymology. Information regarding the Kalamukha sect takes the form of inscriptions relating to temple grants and texts usually written by their opponents. They appear to have been an offshoot of the Pashupata sect, about whom more is known. Their name was derived from Kalamukha, meaning black-faced, which refers to their painting of a black streak as a symbolic caste mark on their face. Evidence from the Puranas and similar ancient texts makes it clear that they were also known by other names, such as Laguda, Lakula and Nakula, and associated with other words meaning black-faced, such as Kalanana. The rise of the Kalamakas to a position of influence coincided with the popularization of the Agama texts of Shaivism, and they are shown in the Tiramandiram as one of the six schools of thought to emerge from the Agamas. Theirs was not, however, a school based purely on the Agamas as they also took heed of the orthodox Sruti and were well versed in the Vaisheshika and Nyaya schools. The Kalamakas were themselves subdivided, with at least two divisions, called the Sakti Parasad and the Simha Parasad. The former of these were found over a wide-ranging area and the latter were mostly concentrated around the districts of Darwar and Shimoga. History According to Ramendra Nath Nandi, the first known record of the Kalamukha sect is a grant issued by the Rashtrakuta dynasty in 807 CE, although he also refers to the existence of a Kalamukha monastery in Mysore in the 8th century. Among the references are a Kalamukha temple recorded in Srinivaspur in 870, another with a college at Chitradurga in 947, and a monastery and temple at Nanjingud by 977. Their major centre was at Baligavi and other temple sites included one at Vijayawada. There is a gap in the recorded evidence of them for around two centuries, after which they are well documented until the Vijayanagara era. Ramanuja, a Vaishnavite Acharya, may have confused the Kalamukha with the Kapalikas in his Sri Basya work, in which he noted them as eating from a skull and keeping wine. Such practices were common for the Kapalikas but are atypical for the Kalamukhas. His writings may have been colored by his experience of being a member of a different school and being forced by the Kalamukhas and other Shivites to leave his native Tamil Nadu. There was also possibly a desire to discredit because of an element of fear or jealousy driven by the then rising popularity of the Kalamakas. Nandi notes that, the Kalamakas were a Saivite sect of social and religious reformers with a strong social basis, whereas the Kapalikas were a sect of selfish self seekers practicing queer and gruesome rites at the cremation ground, away from human localities. Nonetheless, for many years scholars such as R. G. Bandarkar believed the Kalamakas to be a more extreme sect than the Kapalikas, despite acknowledging that Ramanuja's written account were confused. David Lorenzen believes this error lay in placing emphasis on Ramanuja's skewed written record above that placed on such epigraphical evidence from inscriptions as had been collated by the time Bandarkar and others analyzed the situation. <laughs> 